I just started a party and I was kind of thunderstruck with the beauty. Dax Shepard is opening up about his relationship history and one of his famous exes may surprise you. I dated Ashley Olsen and yes. I, she's just the most wonderful person. She's fantastic. The armchair expert podcast host told his co-host Monica Padman on Monday's episode that he dated the famous Olsen twin before his marriage to Kristen Bell. Yeah, I think you asked me, like, uh, that's a weird pairing for, I, you know, when you first found that out. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I would imagine on the surface that's a pretty weird pairing. But um, just super funny and sarcastic and intelligent and, yeah. And bosses. Major bosses. The Bless This Mess actor went on to share details from their former romance, revealing that Ashley and her sister Mary-Kate were launching their fashion line when she and Dax were together. What I like so much when you update me about the row, the row, their is that line. when we were dating, it was when she was putting kind of all of her energy and focus into launching that in oh, a big way. So wow. I actually got to see her like meet with design teams and like run her, <sighs> and she handles her B. Yeah, it's very does. impressive. Dax admitted that he never saw the twins' hit show Full House back when it aired, but concluded that it's probably for the best. Uh -huh. I have been following them since Full House. Full House was my first TV obsession. Yeah. So, you know, you got it, dude. That uh, was me. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they said? Yeah, that was our catchphrase. I luckily never saw that show because it would probably be, I probably would have not been able to be attracted to Ashley you, if I was knew her as a baby. Yeah, but, or <laughs> or you would have felt like you knew her her whole life. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't know if that would have been healthy <laughs> okay. either. Although their flame may have fizzled out, Dax did suggest that he still thinks the 35-year-old is so cool. When I met her, a favorite car of mine, which nobody would get, was the Cadillac DeVille DTS. It's like a businessman's hmm. Tony Soprano luxury sedan. Oh, wow. And I don't know how it came up, because she also had a G-Wagon AMG. Oh, she did? Wow. That was the first time I drove What one. color? Black, on Ooh. black, on black. Yes. That's a tough, cool. It and is. And this was 16 years ago, 15 years ago or whatever. Yeah. And then she said, I have another car. And I said, what do you have? And she goes, oh, I have a, a black DTS. I promise you that's, that's the cool. only DTS that was ever sold to a woman in her 20s <laughs> in the history of the Cadillac DTS. Did she say why? Like She just loved it. Wow. And I was like, this is, this is a very unique. Yeah. And you said she's good at Scrabble. Yep. Yep. I yep. bet she gets the Wordle on the second one. It's possible. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind reconnecting with her to find out if she still has that DTS because it probably only has like 9,000 miles on it and I'd yeah. love to scoop that thing up for 3,500.